It is well known that exercise can improve the body's response to cancer treatment, no matter the stage or type. Benefits of exercise during cancer include reduced treatment fatigue, improved lung and heart function, and also increased strength. However, I didn't realize the effect that intense exercise can have on the prevention of metastatic cancers. In this video, I'll go over the results of a 2017 study that show how intense exercise can help to reduce the spread of metastatic cancer by killing what's known as CTCs, which are circulating tumor cells. Pretty impressive stuff. Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. Ed Debu, physical therapist from Integrated Physical Therapy in Bellingham, Washington. 90% of cancer deaths are unfortunately caused by metastatic cancer. And metastatic cancer is when the cancer has spread from the original site to another site or multiple sites. Therefore, the most important way to save the life of a cancer patient is to help to prevent these CTCs or these circulating tumor cells from migrating from the original site and making additional tumors elsewhere in the body. Like I tell my clients, look, I'm not a cancer doctor, but I try to explain to them the process of metastasis and how it relates to exercise in simple terms. The first thing that happens is you have these tumor cells that leave the primary tumor site. They enter the circulatory system and they travel in the bloodstream and are known as circulating tumor cells, CTC. Finally, the CTCs that survive can form secondary tumors in other parts of the body. These circulating tumor cells can be killed through a lot of different mechanisms. One of them is a process called hemodynamic shear stress. I'll put a link down below to the study, but what the researchers basically did is they developed a little biomimicking circulatory system. And just to give you an idea, the amount of pressure of blood in the arteries, it's measured in dynes per centimeter squared. So in the arteries, it's about 15 dynes per centimeter squared. However, with intense exercise, and in this example, they use an upper cycle, the pressure in the arteries goes up to about 60 dynes per centimeter squared. And it is this increased hemodynamic shear stress that tends to kill or basically render ineffective the circulating tumor cancer cells. So in a laboratory setting, the researchers specifically looked at breast, ovarian, and lung cancer cells and how they responded to the high dynamic shear stress. The results are pretty promising. To quote the authors, based on these findings, we speculate that cancer patients may use exercise as a mean to produce high shear stress, which in turn can kill CTCs in the vascular system. This physical approach shall have at least three advantages over chemotherapies. Number one, it has higher specificity on CTCs than the surrounding blood cells. Number two, it has stronger efficacy against metastatic and drug resistance circulating tumor cells. And number three, it should have much less side effects to the cancer patients. Bottom line is we should all be on a regular exercise program. And it's pretty exciting that intensive exercise can really significantly help to prevent the spread of metastatic cancer. I have all sorts of exercise programs at the channel. If you have any questions about this, please let me know. Take care and I'll see you at the next video.